Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to discuss is Hedera Hashgraph undervalued? And this is a more interesting question, and it's more complex than you might actually think. You might think, oh, HBARS is only valued at 161 million. Um, IBM and Boeing are supporting it as well as Google. Therefore, it's undervalued. Now, that might make a pretty good argument, but you have to look deeper into it. Right now, there's not actually much released or much that's actually um, utilizing Hedera Hashgraph. Yes, it is a DAG system, which should be better in theory than a blockchain based system. Notice I said in theory. We don't actually know in reality yet because um, not much has been deployed on it in reality. As for the partnerships of Hedera Hashgraph, the one I know is active is Tune.fm. And Tune.fm, this was actually uh, announced about two months ago. And it wants to help artists get paid while streaming has opened up access to music. It still results in artists getting paid too little too late. On average, labels take 70% of the cut while the streaming provider takes roughly 30%. This presents the artists with a fraction of, of uh, with payouts typically taking six months to reach their pocket, which is not good. Tune.fm wants to shift the model, enabling arbit art artists to freely post their music and listeners to pay them directly. To make it happen, they turn to cryptocurrency as a mechanism to dis disintermediate the high cost of traditional payment rails. So obviously they're using cryptocurrency and HBARs to do uh, traditional payment rails. Not really sure how big Tune.fm is. Haven't really heard of it all that much, so it might be a little bit new. Um, and it wouldn't help the price of HBARs immediately, but it is something to look forward to. However, there's also the Google partnership with Hedera, and that can generate 1.9 billion by 2024. Now, please remember that's 1.5, 1.9 billion over four years, roughly about 500 million a year. And um, I don't really know like what that would actually put Hedera Hashgraph's valuation at, but it should be a little higher if it's generating 500 million a year than 160 million dollars for the asset altogether. But there's more to it than that. You know, you might say, oh, it's going to generate 1. Point, uh, like 500, 1. 1.4, um, 1. 1.9 billion by 2024, roughly about 500 million a year, and Hedera is only 161 million. But there's more to it than that than Hedera Hashgraph. Remember, the circulating supply of Hedera HBARs is roughly 3.2 billion right now, but the total supply is 50 billion, and that will be released over 15 years. So the thing is, like, if all 50 billion are released, then the total supply is actually going to, then the circulating supply um, times the uh, value right now, four or five cents, would actually be about $2 billion. So as you know, more partnerships come on, Hedera, even without rising the price, will slowly raise in market cap because more of the total supply is actually going to be let out. Remember that some of the supply was actually sold um, and still held very cheaply, so they could actually sell at any time, resulting in the possibility of a dump. Do I think it's uh, underpriced right now? Probably, I mean, like in the short term, probably not. Remember, it, I still think it's re retracing from that up bit pump, but in the long run, do I think it's underpriced? Yeah, I do think it's a little underpriced because the Google thing itself will generate 500 million a year by 2024. And there's going, because of IBM, Boeing, and uh, Google being on the governing council, they'll probably get more projects. So even when the 50 billion is replaced, it should be uh, released, it should actually be significantly more than $2 billion in market cap value. Do I think it should be top five, top 10? I'm not really sure. I think it definitely has a chance to be top five and top 10. Definitely has a chance to be top five, top 10. Um, once they actually get more partnerships with Google, Boeing, IBM and such. And I know those companies are gonna not only work with Hashgraph, but with other blockchain companies too. Remember, um, just because these companies work with one blockchain does not mean they cannot work with another blockchain. So there's going to be expansion in the entire market, but regardless, with the big supporters actually supporting it, I do believe that HBARS should be over $2 billion in total market cap. So for that reason, I actually do believe Hashgraph is a little undervalued right now. Um, I don't know about majorly undervalued, but definitely a little undervalued right now. And it does should occupy at least a spot in the top 20 in the years to come, barring any uh, really big disappointments. You know, there's plenty of coins that can move out of the top 20. You know, BSV, Litecoin, um, 
you know, possibly things like ETC. There's several coins that can actually move out of the top 20. And obviously all the stable coins like Tether that are in the top 20 can move out too because they can never appreciate in price. You can only increase their market cap by printing more. And if that doesn't, the pace of printing doesn't keep up, then it's going to drop in market cap. So Hedera Hashgraph, I do think eventually it'll be in the top 20, which would make for a pretty good ROI. So it should be something that you keep on your radar, but I wouldn't exactly say it's um, terribly undervalued, but I would say it's somewhat undervalued right now. So that is the uh, analysis for today. Let me know what you think, like, and subscribe, and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.